us try another example on a singly reinforced section. This time, you are asked to determine the ultimate moment resistance of a cross section given the area of reinforcement bar is 1470 mm square. The characteristic strength of the steel is 500 Newton per mm square and also the characteristic strength of the concrete is 25 Newton per mm square. The sections have a width of 300 mm and the depth of 520 mm. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve these questions, first you need to construct the stress plot diagram. Assuming the neutral axis fall within the cross sections at somewhere x from the height of the beam. For the time being, we still do not know the value of the x here. In the stress block here, there will be compressive stress due to the concrete and tensile force due to the steel. The compressive stress here can be converted into a compressive force of the concrete. The positions of the compressive force it will be at the centroid of the stress plot which is at the positions of x divided by 2 from the top of the section. The maximum compressive stress of the stress plot is determined by the design compressive strength of the concrete. It is equals to 0 0.567 Fck. The height of the stress plot is equals to 0 0.8 times the height of the neutral axis. There will be a lever arm Z in between the distance of FCC and SST. Once you have completed the stress plot diagram, you will need to solve these questions based on the principles of static equilibrium. Taking the Fs equals to 0, you will obtain the compressive force of the concrete equals to the tensile force in the steel. The equations for the compressive force in the concrete and the steels are given here. Substitute the relevant value into the equations for you to obtain the value x. The S is required for you to calculate the lever arm of the section. With the lever arm of 10, multiply with the yield strength of the steel, you will be able to obtain the moment that can be taken by the cross section. The calculation step here is based on the steps that mentioned just now. From the equations of static equilibrium, you will obtain S equals to 150 mm. You need to check the positions of the neutral axis to be less than 0 0.617 D. It is to ensure that the steel yield at the ultimate state and the member is to be failed in the ductile manner. From the S value of 10, you will be able to determine the lever arm of the section. Based on the yield strength of the steel bar, which is in the functions of the FYK divided by the partial factor of safety, multiply the area of the steel bar, the forces in the steel bar is to be multiplied with the lever arm, you obtain 2 at 4 kN meter. With that, this section is able to withstand a load of maximum 2 at 4 kN meter moment. And we know that 
the sections going to fail in the tata manner instead of brittle manner.